In this lesson, I will show you how to create shipping zones. So in the previous lesson, we skipped shipping and delivery. So let's go to shipping tab. And right here, if you would click add shipping zone, you will be able to create a new shipping zone. So you have a lot of different options to create your shipping zones. Of course, it depends where you are shipping your products. If you are shipping your products globally, then you can simply create a global shipping zone. So for example, I'm just gonna type a global shipping. And once you type global shipping, you don't really need to select any regions because this shipping zone will be applied automatically to all countries. Of course, it's not the best choice, not the most convenient one because your shipping is gonna cost depending on the country depending on the state if you're doing this in the United States of America but yeah it is possible to create a global shipping zone and I'm gonna show you how to do that so once you add this name right here now you will need to add shipping method so we can add a flat rate right here so if you would add flat rate let's click add method and now let's click edit and right here you can select if this is taxable shipping so if you have activated your taxes and the woocommerce settings that i showed you previously the tax will be applied to the shipping as well so it's up to you if you are not taxing shipping you can select none and instead of flat rate we can call this standard shipping all right and for standard shipping, just uh, type the cost. So I'm just going to type the cost. Let's say it's going to be $5 and let's hit save changes. All right. So now this shipping zone, this global shipping zone that is right here has one shipping method that is standard shipping, but we can add more shipping methods. So for example, if I would select flat rate one more time, I will click add the shipping method and now I'm going to click edit and I'm going to select that it's not taxable and I'm going to type right here express shipping and obviously express shipping is gonna cost more so I'm gonna type $15 all right let's get save changes and as you can see now this global shipping zone that is applied to global audience has two shipping methods so it has standard shipping and express shipping we can also add another shipping method that is going to be free shipping so if I'm gonna click free shipping I can click edit and instead of making just the free shipping, I can set that a person needs to spend a certain amount of money on our online store so he could get this free shipping option. So for example, if I'm going to type 80, so that means our customer needs to spend at least $80 on our store to get free shipping. If you would click this apply minimum order rule before coupon discount, you will be able to offer free shipping. But uh, let's say if a customer has a coupon code and he spent on your store $85 and once he activates that coupon uh, he's just gonna pay $70 then if you're gonna activate this option your customer will be eligible for this free shipping info he's just gonna pay $75 so that's why I'm not activating this one so I'm just gonna keep it like that and I'm gonna click save changes all right so as you can see now we have free shipping methods we are shipping globally and uh, these are free shipping methods so we have free shipping express and standard shipping so usually it's more than enough you can also add any other shipping method so for example if you want you can click add shipping method right here one more time let's select flat rate and uh, just a second right here in flat rate you can also type that it's going to be delivered by UPS for example and you can type the cost so the cost again is going to be up to you you can just use a flat rate uh, just an average you would spend on UPS delivery or something like that so let's say if it's going to be eight dollars something like that and we can hit save changes so as you can see just like that you can add various shipping methods so your customers will be able to choose those methods you can also swap places with these methods so for example once a customer is at a checkout page uh, this is the order he's gonna see shipping methods so he will be able to choose any shipping method he wants to use once you have done those changes don't forget to click save changes all right now we can go to shipping zones right here and as you can see we have a global shipping zone so this is for global audience basically every single person who's using our store no matter where they are from they're gonna have those shipping methods but of course we can create other shipping zones so instead of using this global zone you could delete this one and not to use that one i just wanted to show you how that's done how you can add uh, shipping zones and how you can add shipping methods so now instead of just adding shipping methods 
now we could add a shipping zone so for example if you truly know that you're gonna do business only in united states of america so of course you want to have a zone that is going to be us all right and now you can choose from the list united states of course you can go deeper into all shipping zones you can create shipping zones by regions but for example if i'm gonna use united states i can add right here shipping methods just for united states if it's not gonna be for united states if it's gonna be for let's say english speaking audiences then you could add some other regions as well so let's say you could add united kingdom you could add a canada and so on and this is how you can create shipping zones so for example i'm just gonna create united states so i'm gonna add us and just like the previous time i added shipping methods so there is a flat rate method so let's click flat rate and now you will need to edit this and you can add standard shipping just like the previous time choose if it's gonna be taxable or not and just type the cost and just like that i added shipping method just to this particular shipping zone that is going to be united states if i would save this zone i would only have one shipping method for this shipping zone that is going to be united states so for example if i'm gonna go back to shipping zones now you see i have two shipping zones but now it doesn't really make sense because this shipping zone is shipping everywhere so instead of shipping everywhere instead of using this shipping global zone now we only have one zone that is united states so for example if a customer visits your store and he tries to buy something but he's not from united states then he will not be able to choose any shipping method and that means uh, the products are not delivered to his location because there is no shipping zone and uh, if a customer is from us now he only has one shipping method that is standard shipping method of course as you saw it yourself you can add uh, more shipping methods uh, different shipping methods with different flat fees and of course you can add a free shipping method once a customer spends a certain amount of money you can also create just a free shipping method if you are doing free delivery so in that case you would only have free delivery free shipping method but again shipping zones are completely up to you but i believe now you understand how that works all right but before we leave this uh, shipping zones page before we finish with this lesson let's go to other tabs so if i would go to shipping options we don't really need to change anything right here but if you would go to shipping classes you can create shipping classes so for example why this is important so let's say you have products that are extremely heavy you know and obviously those products are gonna need uh, more expensive shipping uh, and uh, let's say you also sell some fragile products in this case uh, those products gonna require some extra care and it's gonna cost extra so in that case if you're gonna have such products if you're gonna have uh, such unique products you can create shipping classes so for example i'm gonna create a shipping class and i'm gonna name this class heavy products and now once i filled all the information right here i can click save shipping classes and as you can see i have one shipping class and there's no products added to this class because i haven't added any products to this uh, online store yet but once we add products to this online store i will show you where you can set a shipping class to a particular product that requires uh, some expensive shipping or some extra care when handling this product but again it's completely up to you if you want to do that uh, this is one uh, unique situation but it's good to know that such options exist so you wouldn't get lost when looking for ways how you can charge more for particular products for a shipping all right so once i added this um, class now i need to add a price for this class how much this uh, shipping method is gonna cost so for example if a customer adds that uh, heavy product to their cart and once they go to a checkout page they're gonna see that price that particular price for this product the shipping price i mean all right so now let's go back to shipping zones and as you remember we have one shipping zone if we would click right here edit now we will be able to do changes to this standard shipping so let's click edit and as you can see now we have some more information here so let's say if a product has this shipping class have a product so it's gonna cost our customers let's say 25 dollars 
and now if I would type five dollars right here and let's say if a customer tries to purchase a product and that product has this shipping class attached to that product then this customer will have to pay twenty five dollars if there are some products that do not have this shipping cost they're just gonna need to pay five dollars for basically standard shipping so you probably now understand if you want to dive a bit deeper into that you can check even more complicated changes adjustments but i think to have this simple adjustment is quite good and of course it doesn't mean that you're gonna need to use shipping classes but i just wanted to show you where you can do that all right once you have done this we can hit save changes and basically pretty much that's it now you should know how to create shipping zones now you should know how to add shipping methods to those zones as well and uh, the last thing is gonna be completely optional you can create shipping classes for uh, extra care requiring products if they're shipping gonna cost more or something like that so this is how you can create those extra shipping classes and this one is gonna be completely up to you usually talking from the personal experience uh, I usually have free shipping methods so I have free shipping method once a customer spends a certain amount of money if it's gonna be $100 or something like that I have a standard shipping method that is usually around $5 and I have express shipping method that is $15 so those are shipping methods uh, my customer can choose and of course when you are working with a particular delivery provider shipping providers you can look for their plugins and they usually have those plugins but again it depends where you are from and where you're gonna ship your products to so this is a bit complicated, a bit more in-depth uh, thing. But like I said, usually those free shipping methods do the job. And uh, let's say if your customer chooses a standard shipping method, you can use any shipping provider, any delivery provider you have, any carrier, and your customer just gonna receive this product uh, based on this uh, standard fee that you have. So basically you're gonna look for the cheapest uh, delivery option. And if your customer gonna choose, let's say, express shipping then of course you're going to look for a faster shipping method where you can deliver your product faster and uh, once the product is shipped you will always send your customer an email notification with his tracking details so no matter what uh, the plugins that uh, other providers use they just kind of automate this part a bit with sending tracking numbers but again usually this simple setup with free shipping zones is more than enough